Hi guys, it's Sunny from Eclipse All Sports and I'm excited to bring you an exclusive look at one of the new ranges from BDM. Um, so they've been spending a lot of time over the last year or so uh, creating a new design uh, for 2017. So instead of rushing the design out onto the market for last year, they've taken a little bit longer and it's going to be released for the 2017 season. Uh, and in my opinion, that was the right way to go about things because uh, I've not really changed their design for probably the last 20 years or so. It stayed pretty much the same across the range of BDM bats. Um, so it, it was a big step for them and a lot of changes were needed to be made in such a short space of time. So I think it was the right move and I think they've come up with a really good range. And I look forward to seeing their next new range as well, which hopefully will be out maybe before Christmas, but more than likely around about January time. Um, so I look forward to stocking that and bringing you reviews of that kit as well. Um, so we're going to start off with this stunning uh, BDM uh, champion cricket bat. So it's an absolute stunning. This is top of the range. Um, so this is classed as their pro grade willow. So it's the same grade as what you would class the game edition as. Um, but absolutely stunning. Uh, you've got beautiful straight even grains. There's no blemishes. It's absolutely stunning. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven grains, eleven straight even grains. Perfect looking bat. You've got a 39mm edge on one side and around a 40mm edge on the other side. You've got a 66mm spine. And if you look down the spine, you've got a very full shape. BDM tend to do very full shapes, very little to any wood taken out of any of their bats really. Nice thick toe, BDM embossed toe guard. Uh, we've gone for the single lightning bolt uh, burnt in stamping. And I'll just give you a quick look at the new stickers. Absolutely stunning. I'm not sure how they're coming across on the camera, but you've got uh, embossed BDM in black and then you've got some chrome and black detailing. Um, if you just have a look into the sticker as well, there's some nice chrome detailing in there. Um, all textured. You've got the new BDM hologram sticker there as well. Um, so again, this is all textured and you've got some nice detailing in the stickers as well. BDM is embossed. So yeah, really nice stickers and beautiful grains going through the back of the bat as well. Really nice finish, nice thick shoulders. You've got a predominantly round handle, a uh, little bit flatter towards the bottom. White ripple grip with the BDM embossing. Um, you've got the short handle embossed on the top there. You've got the red, red rubber insert, sorry. So yeah, you've got the back care guide there as well. So yeah, an absolutely stunning cricket bat. Uh, the name there is all textured and embossed, really nice looking stickers. So you've got the black, white, silver and orange detailing and to be honest I think it looks really nice and I think it's a really good update for 2017 and I think they've done a cracking job and this is an absolutely stunning cricket bat as well. So yeah, so this one's still available guys. And these are going to be listed on the website for $334.99. Uh, so the price has increased, as has uh, a lot of the cricket bats that we've stocked uh, from last year. The prices have gone up uh, quite a bit from last year. The reason behind that was um, the annual increase. Each company is always increasing their prices. But not only that, uh, due to the weakening pound, uh, the cost of importing cricket bats has gone up quite a bit. So a lot of the companies uh, have reflected that in their prices as well. Uh, so that's um, why the prices have gone up for this year. So just to make you aware of that if you wasn't already. Um, so yeah, this will be listed up as BDM Champion. And this is the only one we've got in a stock at the minute. So BDM Champion Cricket Bat number one. It weighs in at £2.10.1 ounce. Like I said, you've got a 39 40mm edge and 66mm spine. So it's a very big cricket bat. And you do get these lovely, stunning uh, BDM padded back covers as well with the top end bats. So a really nice free extra there from BDM. Uh, one of those padded back covers you'd probably normally pay around about £15-20 for something as good quality as that. And that comes free with the back. So moving on now to the Masterclass. Um, so this was a custom order. Like I say, it's going out to America. Uh, I think it's Prasad, he's ordered quite a few BDM bats from us and a few other bats as well. 
So he was wanting something lighter and he was wanting it in the custom curly profile shape. So we've got the duckbill uh, profile and you've got like a mid middle on this one. Um, so apparently this is the shape that he's currently using. Uh, and if you see some of the pictures with him holding his bats, the shape is very similar to this. You've got a 38-39 millimeter edge on this one, 66 millimeter spine, so a very big spine. You've got a really thick toe as well, around a 23-24 millimeter toe. You've got nice thick shoulders, uh, a round handle at the top, uh, slightly semi-oval at the bottom. And again, very thick toe, like I said. Very full shape, no wood taken out at all. The customer asked for £2.9. ounce. Um, this one was weighing £2.8.8, .8, but that included the scuff sheet around the handle and the wrapper on the back. It's £2.8.3 without the scuff sheet around the handle and without the wrapper on. So once it's been oiled and knocked in and the scuff sheet and edge tape has been fitted, it'll be pretty much around 29 probably 28.929. Uh, so that'll be the finish weight after we've oiled it and knocked it in. So that's pretty much dead on the weight that he was asking for. So this one's got the English Willow stamping on the back and the single uh, lightning bolt stamping on the edges. Um, but yeah, all these stickers again, textured in boss and the same colour and the detailing as the previous one. And the only difference is this one's got the master class label. Uh, this is top grade English Willow. This is the best grade that BDM produced again. So this is, would be classed as the game edition. Um, but I'm not sure if they're going to have the game edition or if they're going to have all new names for the whole new ranges for 2017. But these are a look at a few that are going to be available. So yeah, absolutely stunning. We'll just count up these grades just so you can have a quick look at them. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 grains on this one. An absolute stunning cricket bat. So yeah, we'll be oiling and knocking this in and then getting posted out on Monday. Um, so I hope Prasad likes this bat. It's a stunning bat. Um, and I'll tell you what, we'll go through the performance of the bats because I haven't tapped a ball upon any of the bats yet. So I'll go on to the last one and then we'll go through the performance of each of the cricket bats and just uh, talk about the balance and the pickup and the performance. Uh, so a slightly muddled up review, uh, but we'll get there in the end. Uh, so finally, we've got the BDM Beast cricket bat. Um, and the name is quite fitting for this one. It's a three pound cricket bat. It's absolutely massive. You've got a 22, 23 millimeter toe at its thinnest point. You've got a 41, 42 millimeter edge, and you've got a 66, 67 millimeter spine, and you've got 14 millimeter shoulders. So it's a massive bat all the way up. There's no wood taken out anywhere along this bat. And if you look down the spine, it's around 30 millimeters at its thickest point in the toe. Really full shape. There's no wood taken out. It's convex. Absolutely massive bat. You've got a nice thick oval, well I'd say it's a semi oval but it's a nice thickness and round towards the top. And yeah, absolutely stunning. We'll just have a quick look at these grains. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 grains as well. So a really nice big bat, beautiful straight even grains, all sapwood, absolutely stunning guys. So we'll go on to the balance and the pickup. Like I say, it's a £3 bat. And it picks up nice, but you can tell straight away that it's got some weight in the bat. So you won't, you're not going to pick it up and say this feels like a light cricket bat. It doesn't feel like a light cricket bat. But for £3, it does pick up nice. It doesn't feel like it's a £3 bat. Um, you do feel like you can pick it up and you can probably use it. Uh, I normally use £2.10, £2.11. I can pick this up and think, yeah, I could probably have a few uh, swings with this. I'd get away with playing a few shots with this. Uh, maybe not be able to play a whole innings with this cricket bat as it is uh, quite a bit heavier than what I normally use but it doesn't feel massively heavier than what I use um, so yeah it is well balanced and it does pick up nice um, so we'll just give it a quick tap up with the ball so yeah that's down at the toe wow <laughs> big chunks of the ceiling were coming out then. That's the little taps and that's up towards the sticker. This absolutely flies. 
I don't really tap it much more than that because the ceiling is actually crumbling up coming down. Um, but yeah, it pings right up at the sticker, um, all the way down to the toe. If you have a look down here, um, this is pretty much where I was hitting it, right down here at the toe there's a few seam marks and it was pinging really well. And then right up at the stickers it was pinging really nice as well. Um, so yeah, it pings all the way up the blade. As you can see, it's a massively long hitting area and it's a very wide sweet spot. So if you're someone who prefers using a heavier cricket bat, around about the £2.14 to £2.16 or £3, then this one's going to feel perfect for you. Uh, this probably feels around about the £2.13 in the hands. It doesn't feel much heavier than £2.13, um, but it's, it's difficult to gauge the weight of a bat of this size, but it does pick up lighter than a £3 bat, but it certainly does feel like it's got plenty of wood in the bat and it does have plenty of power for definite. Um, so yeah, if you're someone who likes to swing a big uh, piece of wood and likes to clear those boundaries and likes to go in there and dominate the bowling, then I would certainly recommend something like this. It's an absolute stunning cricket bat and it really does ping well. Uh, this one will be listed as well for £334.99. It is top grade English Willow, the best Willow that BDM produce. And again, you will get a free padded BDM back cover and you'll also get free UK mainland delivery as well. So it's an excellent cricket bat. So we're going to take a look at the rest of the bats and just see how they perform. Um, so this is the BDM champion that we looked at first and like I said this was 210.1 and this picks up and feels probably 28.5, 2.9 it picks up really nice and light but saying that I've just picked up a £3 cricket bat so going from a £3 cricket bat to a £2.10 cricket bat um, it might have affected uh, how the bat feels but for me after picking that £3 bat out this one feels really light in the hands um, and it probably feels, like I said, around about the 2.8.5, 2.9. We'll just see how it performs. The performance is excellent. So yeah, little tap and it's going into the ceiling. Very responsive. BDM are very consistent in terms of producing bats that are very responsive. And these certainly do ping well. So yeah, it's another excellent quality cricket bat. Pings all, over the, pings all over the blade. Again, from right up at the stickers, right down to the toe, uh, the performance is excellent. So another top quality cricket bat. So that is uh, BDM Champion. And then this is Prasad's Masterclass. Um, we'll just see how this one performs. So yeah, this one is 28.3 as it is now. Once it's been oiled and knocked in and the scuff sheet faded, it'll be £2.9. Um, but this picks up super light, it feels feather light. With this uh, duck bill profile shape, it just helps with the balance and the pickup. And it feels probably 2.7. Feels 2.7 in the hands, feels lovely and light. And it pings absolutely beautifully. Pings all over the blade. So it's got a really thick toe, so let's see how it is down low. It does feel pretty decent down low. Considering it's got that duck bill toe, it still pings pretty good down low. And then towards the middle, it really flies out of the middle. So yeah, it's very responsive, very springy, and another really good bat. Um, so yeah, it does pick up beautifully and light. So yeah, really impressed with all three of these bats from BDM. Not only do they look stunning, they perform really well, they pick up really well. Um, excellent quality from BDM and I look forward to getting more BDM bats in stock over the next few months and I look forward to reviewing some more of their new uh, range of cricket bats and take a look at some of their new sticker ranges as well. So thank you for watching guys. Until next time, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye.